On Saturday, June 22nd, 2019, our gracious Supreme Master Ching Hai addressed the assembly of our Kuan Yin fellow meditation practitioners at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Our association members were fortunate to see Handsome Good Love, as well as one more of our beloved Master's very brave canine companions. Master lovingly read to the congregation about the extraordinary life of Lord Mahavira over two sessions on the same day. The reading began with the 16 dreams or visions that Lord Mahavira's mother, Devi Trishla, had of her son before he was born. The augurs listened to the details of the dreams from Devi Trishla and beamed with joy, pondering over they interpreted the dreams as follows. O oh, King of Kings, Maharaji Siddhartha, according to the science of dreams, there are 72 auspicious dreams. Out of these, 42 indicate of ordinary benefits and remaining 30 of great benefits. The dreams the fortunate Devi Trishla has seen are the 16 great dreams that indicate extremely auspicious and divine gains in the near future. According to these dreams, Devi Trishla will give birth to a son who will become a Chakravati. During the second session, Master expounded on Lord Mahavira's birth and the joy of his father, King Siddhartha, who gave away his precious ornaments to the maid who announced to him the excellent news of his son's birth. The king also released the maid from slavery, which prompted our most caring Master to speak about the freedom of all, including humans and animals. You should know, in the old time, people sell themselves or they are sold as slaves eh? for life long to pay for debt or just to get some money to live by, you know, for the family. Because the poor people, when they have children, sometimes they cannot raise them because they don't have enough money or some circumstances. And they sold their children as a slave and that will be lifelong. You will never be free from slavery. Or maybe if you have a lot of money or somebody bought you out, then possible, yes. But it's not always possible like that, yeah. It's very, very special cases. Talking about old time, in America, a few hundred years ago, 200 some years ago, still have this kind of trade, you know, of slavery. Nowadays, we don't have that. Maybe in some areas still have. Imagine. 21st century, people still sell and buy others, look exactly like me and you, still sell and buy them, like, like a, a pen or something, like a, an object. This is not correct. Maybe this system don't exist officially anymore, but it still exists in some poor area, rural area, and it's a regrettable. And even then, if we abolish this kind of slavery trade forever, we still must consider the animal slavery trade as well. They are also beings. They have feelings. They have emotions. They have intelligence. They have loyalty to each other. And they are so good to each other and to humans also. And we sell, buy, sell, buy them just like we did with humans before. That's also not correct. Our world is not correct in many ways. I don't know how long it takes to change all this, but we will have to change it. And we are doing all we can to change this system because it's not right. There's only one way to do things, it's the right thing. And this thing is not right. No matter what country or what government, if they have some thinking, yeah, some little sympathy in the heart, some understanding of what's right, what's wrong. And this slavery of humans and animals should be abolished long, long time before I was even born.
That should be the right thing to do. Oh, we hope it comes soon. Okay. Our kind, generous master has reminded us of how to show our genuine respect for her. Remember last year, there was one Vietnamese uh, old man got initiation and he wanted to prostrate to me three times. He keep insisting that it's a tradition, Vietnamese tradition. You have to bow to your, prostrate to your teacher three times. But I say, no, 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 here, nobody prostrate to nobody. <laughs> so please don't do that. Uh, he was very reluctantly not doing it. You know, he would have loved to do it with all his heart. I can see that. But I don't want to make it into a tradition here. I think we better not do anything because if I let him do it, then everybody else would like to do it. And knowing you, you will take your time and you will keep looking and you, you try to do it very slowly. <laughs> One extra bow and two extra bow and then, my God, it will take forever. <laughs> Even I respect traditions and it's not a bad tradition, but logistically speaking, <laughs> it's, it's not practical. Okay, huh? Yeah, I know many of you also want to do that. You keep asking me, but no. Okay? No is no. And oh, no. <laughs> we don't need this kind of respect. We respect inside, okay? We respect by keeping the precept, by being vegan, by meditating diligently, yeah? And really trying to uh, abide by the master teaching and try to go home. That is a real respect, okay? Yeah. Outer respect, anybody can do. Inside respect is harder, yeah? I want the inside respect. Huh? And uh, the proof of the respect, not just bowing on the floor, anybody can do that. Master continued with the venerated Lord Mahavira's story and finished on the following. Knowing about his resolve for renunciation, God's from the edge of the universe arrived and put forth the formal request. Now, the gods come down and ask him something. They ask him thus, O oh, benefactor of the world, your resolve is great. Please proceed on the path of renunciation and propagate religion for the welfare of the world. Oh, they did not... Uh, they did not ask, they just request him to do that, supporting him by telling him, okay, go ahead. So Prince Vardaman gave charity three hours every day for one year long. Rich or poor, whoever came to Vardaman was awarded whatever he desired. At the end of one year, Vardaman was ready for renunciation. Okay, that is that for now. Tomorrow I read you more, huh? Our profound gratitude to our most benevolent master for spending precious time with us and always showering us with radiant spiritual blessings. May master be forever safeguarded, strong and healthy in divine brilliance. For the full broadcast of these lectures by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at later dates.